man like Jimmy hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another destiny 2 video wow 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 Bungie have responded in a huge fashion to a lot of the grumblings that was being felt amongst the destiny 2 community and we're gonna look at a few of those in this video today now I don't tend to produce news videos but I think with this toxicity surrounding the Destiny 2 community, I think it was important just to get out there what Bungie are actually doing to address some of the endgame issues. Now, I'm going to put up on screen a blog post that Bungie released uh, with the weekly This Week at Bungie. And it kind of states what they're looking to do to improve the endgame in the coming weeks ahead. So I'm going to read out a few of the um, highlighted ones that I feel are important. Um, but like I said, I will link this uh, blog post in the description below so you can have a read for yourselves. So, Bungie has stated that they're going to give players new systems to give the most engaged players additional optional pursuits, i.e. the hardcore players being more rewarded. Because at the moment, the hardcore players, the players that play day in, day out, there's no real incentive for them to do any activity whatsoever. Um, and that definitely needs addressing, so I'm glad that they've acknowledged that. They've also given better incentives for players who complete challenging prestige activities and better rewards and replay value for strikes, adventures and lost sectors. So this is specifically targeting the PvP heart, PvE sorry, hardcore group because at the moment I feel like they've been left out a little bit because there's no real reason to complete strikes, adventures, lost sectors because the loot that you acquire from them are not good at all. Um, and also the prestige activities, getting a cosmetic um, gear mod modification and an emblem for completing some of the hardest content in Destiny 2, I feel, is a bit of a slap in the face, particularly as only a small percentage of the Destiny community actually complete the prestige activities. What you've also stated that they're going to include in early 2018 private matches for the competitive community. Now this is not just limited for the competitive community, I mean myself, I like to jump in with my clan, we put restrictions on the game mode and we play, it's really fun, it's a great way to warm up as well, um, so this is definitely something that we probably should have had from the start, but nevertheless Bungie have acknowledged this and they're going to put it in early 2018. They've also stated that there's going to be a better incentive to complete crucible matches and I feel like this is in um, direct reference to the competitive uh, game mode or the competitive playlist because at the moment the players go in there they're getting stumped by a stacked team they'll just leave and it will leave the players that they were playing with who are obviously random in that playlist to compete by themselves in an unbalanced fashion and there is no real difference in reward so they definitely need to needed to address that so it's good that them they're, they're planning to do something about it they've also stated that there is going to be continued pr improvements to iron banner which I could see this coming, um, but Iron Banner wasn't well, well received. The only thing that was good about it was the fact that it was a control only playlist. And they're also going to see changes to the mud economy, which I think is probably one of the biggest ones with regards to weapons. Because back in D1, we used to grind and grind and grind just to get that perfect God Roll IS Luna or that perfect God Roll Grasper Balak. With the mud system, that could go in some way, shape, or form to mimic that feeling because you'll be able to craft or modify weapons to meet your playstyle. Now Bungie have also highlighted that they're going to be bringing a patch or should I say patch 1.0.6 um, on Tuesday which is going to be the next reset and it's going to um, look at fixing some of the issues that we've been experiencing in Destiny 2 over the last few weeks. So I'm not going to read out all of them like I said um, but I will be highlighting some of the most important ones with the first one being the bureaucratic walk emote. That was the emote that basically allowed you to glitch out of the playable space into walls for example and then you could kind of glitch back in and just do some weird stuff. I've seen videos where people were popping their supers in the wall and then coming out the wall and killing people. Um, they've also fix the issue with survival where the rounds have been reduced from three minutes to two minutes and they've reduced the life count from eight to six i think it was super important i mean trials used the survival game mode i can't remember when it was now but it took us over two hours to run one card 
um, and we got to 6-0 and and we lost and we were thinking about doing it again and I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm not sitting here for another two hours just to get back to there. Um, so that's been addressed and they've also addressed the supremacy issue. Um, they've increased the score to win from 70, from 50 to 70. Um, but you now get a point for killing the Guardian and it's adjusted the influence that enemy crests have on the spawning system which I think is a big thing because playing Supremacy, me personally, I used to get a lot of kills but I wouldn't pick up a lot of crests mainly because of the nature of the game, how people played and where I spawned at so I could kill somebody, try and attempt to get their crest and just get destroyed so it's good that you're actually getting rewarded for getting kills as well as picking up the crests so all in all, it's a step in the right direction. Like I said in my previous video, Bungie are listening to player feedback, community feedback, and comments in the YouTube section and Reddit posts. Obviously, those comments and that feedback needs to be constructive because abuse is not gonna go anywhere, to be honest. And me personally, if I was in their position, I would have been listening to abuse myself. So that's why I urge you guys to be as constructive of it as you can because it does make a difference and a lot of the implemented changes that Bungie are looking to bring are in direct response to the feedback that they've been receiving from the player base which is encouraging because it shows that yeah they're listening and they need to listen because we're the people that are consuming their product and playing their game and basically flying the flagship for their game because especially as uh, community members, YouTube content creators they're basically the driving force of the continuation of this game. It is a long project for Bungie and I can understand why it takes long to implement such changes because I'm not a game developer so I don't know how long it takes to do such a thing so I'm assuming it's quite difficult. So we need to bear, bear that in mind when we're commenting um, but all in all it's going in the direction I exactly I thought it would be which is Destiny. 2 is a vanilla state and it's going to improve over time very very similar to Destiny 1 uh, where there's going to be DLC content over time which will gradually improve the game now yes a lot of these changes like I said in my previous video should have been implemented before because we made so much progress in Destiny 1 but that hasn't happened so we got to take it as it is and keep moving forward with the game now we've come to the end of the video what are your thoughts what are your comments? Do you think Destiny are going in the right direction or should I say Bungie is going in the right direction with regards to the plan changes to Destiny? Do you feel like it's a little bit too late? Do you feel the pet player base has dwindled beyond um, repair? Get at me in the comment section, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking and feeling. And uh, if you do like this content, be sure to like, share, subscribe and I will definitely, definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.